Hey, hello everyone, my name is Yelsum, and welcome back to Regrowth. This is episode 4, so this will be Friday. Well, I shouldn't say will be, it is, because I'm recording this actually the morning of, so currently for me it is 9.47 in the morning. Videos are supposed to go out um, 12 o'clock noon, so as you can guess, this video is going to be a little late. I, uh, I ran across some dirt, and then I started harvesting the dirt, and... <laughs> Yeah, shock. I fell behind schedule. So, as you can see, um, there's a lot of dirt. I mean, I came in here, I got to about right here, and that's when I hit most of it. Now, a lot of this stuff, maybe a block or so up here, was uh, was stone. I just kind of carved it out so I could get the lights in place. But you can see it's all dirt above me. Um, the problem I'm running into right here, let's see if we can do this without causing too much of a mess. Okay, good. We're also running into some lighting issues because it's getting down. Yeah, there you go. You can see it. And almost there. That's the uh, little pond outside the base. So had to work a little carefully around this area because of that water. So I've been kind of digging it out and filling it back in. I'm not exactly sure where it is because you can see we're a little bit under. And because of the way water works in regrowth, you do not want to go underwater until you've got a snorkel or something because, you know, it burns up your uh, your air bubbles at maybe a three to four times rate, if not more. So I've been kind of avoiding that to avoid the whole drowning death thing. But overall, I mean, this is just like a crazy amount of dirt down here, which is fantastic. And let's go take a look at why. So we'll come back here. Yeah, this stuff, royal pain. It keeps appearing in the middle of these tunnels as I'm digging, and since I can't, I can't dig. It's it's hard to work in the dirt mines when you can't make your tunnels easily. So a bit of a pain. But I extended the farming area. So I kind of extended out here, and you can see where I kind of hit it. All of a sudden, it's like, wait a minute, that's that's light. So I extended the wall out a little bit, and the reason I did this is I've been working on some of the plants. So um, where were we? Um, barley's new. That was sugar cane and wheat. Then with barley and sugar cane, you can get sweet corn. And then found a use for those little um, dirt pad things where you, you hit the dirt twice with a hoe and it sinks in. You can put a bucket of water in them and you can grow the uh, artichokes on them, which is good because it took me a bit to figure that one out, um, which is just belladonna and the, uh, what's that one? Mandrake? And then you can see we got potatoes and carrots gave us pumpkins and sweet corn and melons gave us... Uh, cucumbers and then carrots and pumpkins gave us melons. So we kind of moved around that way. I tried to keep those in place so you could kind of see what I was doing. This is the most recent one, which is the cucumber and the sweet corn. That gives us this chili right here, which is just now starting to grow. I've got the melon and the... Well, apparently that's barley. Oh, I thought that was pumpkin. I don't know. Didn't have a lot of, uh, didn't have a lot of the seeds on those. Oh yeah, it is barley. Where's pumpkin? Oh, there it is. I wanted to get a decent amount of each of them just so we've got a little bit of leeway in case we need it. But, alright, so there's some of the dirt. Put the cobblestone away. Okay, let's go outside. Spiders? No? Spiders are getting annoying. Put some punji sticks on the roof. That seems to have slowed them down a little bit. Not enough, but just enough to hurt them so they die eventually. So let's see. I don't remember what color the water was, but if I had to guess. Stay over there. Um, let's see, that comes down, goes over, we go down here. So we're probably somewhere, probably just broke into this area right here. But that'll get us kind of under here, and I was thinking of maybe glassing it, just so we can kind of look up. But for now, I'm just using it to get dirt. I did try and harvest a bucket of oil from over there with our clay buckets. It doesn't work. It actually destroys it, which was a little bit of a bummer, because I was hoping to be able to use the, um, the oil in the uh, little mob trap idea. But so far, no luck. And then, let's see, in case anybody was wondering, the update on everything. The adoption is all done. I now officially have two children that are actually mine and I can sign papers for. Which is really helpful because it's a royal pain when you cannot sign papers. You wouldn't think it would be, but since the world is based on paperwork and red tape, it's kind of important. But yeah, that's all done. So, like I said, today's Friday. Let's see, took the extra day off because... Um, I probably would have been no use to anyone at work today because of how exhausted I was yesterday. 
Water parks are really tiring. Who knew? But, yeah. Let's see what we've got. Seven. Oh, I've been crossbreeding plants. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Um, yeah, it always does that. It always opens up. So here's this page here you can see. Uh, let's see. So it gives us artichokes. It gives us the fruit you get for doing it. So here's oh, barley flour. Okay. Um, did I claim that one? I did. Then pumpkin. Melon. Sweet corn. Well, that thing just kind of layers on top of itself as far as that sound goes. Alright, so most of these, like I was saying, I'm going to be doing off camera because, like, to me, this is fun, but I know for most people watching that uh, is excessively boring. Um, this can go up here with the food. It turns out you can actually take the, the barley that you harvest from these, and you can use our little mortar and pestle from um, Batania, and you can grind it down into flour. And then instead of taking three wheat to get one bread craftable, you get one barley flour that you can cook in the oven and get one bread, so it's a one-to-one -one return rate, which is kind of nice. But let's see, since we covered these, we'll rip these up. And then I know we have enough mana upstairs to convert over our seed to an essence seed, so we need to do that because that gets us rolling. The sooner we can get into the elemental, elemental essences, the better. Uh, let's get rid of plants for now because I want to double check the seeds and make sure none of them are worth keeping at this exact moment because I can't remember if these were all tens or not um, this thing uh, so far it looks like you can't put dirt on it to get rid of it you had to actually dig it up to get rid of it let me get rid of, no. let me get rid of that these things are really slow and then pumpkins I did make some jack-o-lanterns I just haven't done anything with them yet all right let's put these away Alright, we'll use a seed. Should still be laid out for a little bit longer. Where's the sun? There it is. Okay, so we have enough. Now we have one essence seed, which we will need to grow. The catch with the essence seed, which really makes them slow down, is you can't use standard bone meal on them, which you wouldn't think would be that big of a deal, but if you're trying to push them along and get them to level up faster, it will really put a kink in your plans. You need the magical fertilizer from the magical crops mod to make those grow faster. Otherwise, you'll just waste your bone meal on them and nothing will actually happen. So that's a fun thing to always learn. And now that I think about it, hopefully you can't hear the fan because that's running. It's not that warm outside. I think it's actually in the low 70s, which is kind of amazing. But it's supposed to spike up into the high 90s. And then, wait, we have a lot of people here who are not in the U.S., so that would be 90 degrees Fahrenheit not celsius because then we would all be dead which would be bad so but yeah it's supposed to get warm but in my, in my room right here it actually stays quite humid even when it's not that bad outside which is kind of a bummer so i've got my little air conditioner and fan running to take care of that problem um i guess that's not the essence seed i thought that one was it's um was it under here yeah all right I did this. Oh, okay. It wants us to actually grow one up and get the es give me essence back. All right. That's going to be a bit. What else do we have here? Um, we haven't got any mushrooms yet. I suppose we can make this thing. It does take up one of our um, pasture seeds. We still have one, so that's not that big a deal. Um, I want to say it takes five. Now, I did get a couple comments on the last video that, that showed me things that I wasn't aware of, and I've already forgot who posted them, and I did not write them down, so... Sorry. <laughs> Eventually, I'll, uh, I'll start writing these things down again, but they said, let's see if we can, see if we can hit R. Yeah, that is really helpful. So it tells you, you want, it wants you to make something, you can just hit the R for the recipe over top of this and it just brings it right back out. And then the other one, like I knew these could be substituted for planks, but it, it never occurred to me that that meant for pretty much everything. Which is, you know, uh, it's kind of a, a neat thing, I, I never really realized it. 
So it's like all that time I've been converting these things into planks so I can make like doors and things like that and just been making the chests out of those. And we could have been doing it significantly differently. Ooh. I... Hmm, let's try. So for holding the button down... Yeah. Oh! It doesn't break them anymore. It just harvests them. Oh, that's amazing. That helps a lot. Before, the reason I, I was way over there is because when you hold it down, it used to just tear everything up. So this whole area just would have exploded in crop sticks and plants. Which, you know, if you don't know that the first time you do this and you walk up to one of your farms and do it, it can be one of those, you know, save game, go find corner, cry for a while type things. Because it can just, it can just tear things apart. That's really useful. I'll have to remember that for harvesting later. But that gives us our Horn of the Wild. Okay, that gives us more floral, more bone meal. That's useful. Um, okay, so we still need to get this one done. This will unlock the, um, the infusion stone, I'm guessing. We do have some mutandus left. Maybe we can get ourselves some mushrooms. Let's put our floral away in. Let me scan these things real quick, because it's it's going to be... Do I already... Oh, yeah, I don't know all of them. So I want to see what they all are and get rid of any of them that are low, and then I'll be back. Okay, that went a lot faster than I expected. Most of them were already scanned, and we're... No, we're fairly low level, so we can get rid of those. And we should... Yeah, be up basically in there. I want to go upstairs for something. Oh, that's right. Mutandus, and we're going to need little bit of bone meal and I don't think I don't know if it's night yeah it's night okay I wasn't sure if it was night or if it was just raining it's kind of hard to tell when you're in the wastelands because it it just kind of gets darker <laughs> so you're not really sure Andy banana friendly okay I did for the trees you can kind of see I got this grid pattern here um, so grass right here is where a tree sapling would go and then there's eight blocks of empty air with a half slab sitting on top of it. Because after a while, when these trees grow into those massive, um, huge trees, it's a royal pain to dig them back out. Oh, let's get some more mana while we're doing this too so I can show you that. I did use up all of our uh, day blooms. I used up one of the hydrangeas because I wanted to make sure we had enough mana. So you can kind of see the pattern I dug here. The hydrangea works in a, I, I want to say a one by pattern around it so it'll it'll eat the water blocks and it looks like they did make a change fairly recently where as long as it is an infinite water source it just pulses it doesn't actually suck the water like it used to it used to actually eat that which is why i had to have these around it i don't know if i could get away with not having them there right now but i didn't want to risk it so it will slowly produce power and go into here and eventually it will die it'll decay off and it'll die which apparently when they first introduced that feature was one of those things that just induced massive amounts of rage on the forums with people screaming you've ruined the game and you know the things that people like to do that make mod authors not want to make mods for us anymore but overall it just means you have to actually move into the normal move into the other generating um, flowers okay dark oak oh yeah you're, you're you're a crappy flower we don't like you all that did get a mushroom we did get a tree 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 Okay, so we did get a couple trees out of it. I mean, the dark oak, that's okay. And we can... Let's just harvest these stupid things. These biomes are plenty, I think, so annoying. I mean, they're useful for dye in some cases, but overall, they're just not that useful. They tend to clutter up the ground when you're doing it. Oh, that's right, we can use this to get... Uh... Oh, I never thought of that. If we can get ourselves some skeleton essence or a decent supply of, um, words, of, uh, bones, we could actually fill this area with bone meal, then use that horn to break it, and have a decent chance of kind of producing clay early on, which is nice. I hadn't thought of that. So, let's just put this away. I was really hoping we could get some mushrooms, but apparently I broke the pure daisy and didn't even notice. Plenty of these. This well, actually, these these are new. We haven't used these yet. Still haven't been brave enough to break the hawthorn down yet because I just haven't wanted to risk having to fight one of those treants. They're just oh, a use for these crappy flowers. That's fantastic. 
I haven't wanted to try and fight one yet because they're mean little buggers. How are you doing? You grown yet? No. It requires magic essence, I think. Let's let's take a look. Magical fertilizer. Yeah. See, we can't get that until we get moving. It also requires mutandus, which is a royal pain to get at this stage. Yeah, a little less so. Um, the re one of the reasons I pushed into the um, the crossbreeding really fast, other than the fact that I kind of find it fun, is magical food. If we can get all of these different crops, which we have this one, this one, and this one. So we've got three of them currently. It gives you this, and it's regen two, six hunger food, which isn't that big a deal. I mean, you get well, it's, it's actually pretty good, but you get you know one of each of these plants in a three by three area basically you, you create the crafting grid on the ground and the plants you're growing every time you harvest you have enough to craft four of those food which you know not a bad turnaround considering you know it's decent food but we're not going to be able to do this one this one's currently thinking um the way the world works we can't do this yet because we don't have that is a fantastic button, being able to push that. Um, we do not have diamonds or mana pearls. So we can't do this yet, which would give us the Clayconia if we can get into that next, which would be neat, which means we'd be able to turn sand into clay. Um, bound. I don't really want to do books yet. Oh, uh, yeah, having a snorkel could be useful. We we got sugar cane, we got planks, and we got glass. Yeah, let's let's do that. So we need some glass. Any planks left? We have some planks left. Um, did I feed all? Ah, <laughs> we still got some. Thought maybe I fed it all to the uh, compost bins. Not having to put um, water near those things near the the um, magical or garden soil. Is, is just amazing, so I tend to start converting everything over as soon as I can. So that gives us our snorkel. Is it still daylight out? Where's the sun? Okay, good. So here, I'll show you the... We'll do the experiment here. Since we can get close to the surface, we won't have to worry about dying instantly. Alright, so we'll go down one block. You can see how fast our air bubbles go down. I mean, they just they eat up really quick. But with the snorkel on... It's like breathing normal. Okay, here's our cobblestone. Yep, so we are at the very bottom. Oh no, not quite. There's a little bit deeper. Which is kind of cool. It gives us... Oh, that's me walking on the sand. Plus, we look awesome. I mean, check that out. Got a butterfly and a snorkel. You can't really beat that. Turn the UI back on so we can actually see. I need to get these things cut down eventually. That gives us our snorkel. Detection task, find a pearl oyster. Yeah, that's so not going to happen. Unless, I mean, I didn't see anything in there. That counted as a beach. Where's the, okay, there's the sun. Over here, by that other little monolith thing and the uh, oil, there's a larger body of water. But I don't know, I'm betting it still counts as beach and not ocean. So it might require a little bit of exploration before we can get any farther in that. Because this is pretty much as far as I've come. I haven't really gone out any farther from the base. Because I don't want to get lost and I don't want to die. Um, whoa, way too dark. Can't see a thing. But I don't see... I don't see anything that looks like the kelp. One of the reasons I, I tend to, towards um, the uh, jack-o'-lanterns is they can be placed underwater. Oh, oh, we gotta look at that. Um, yeah, we gotta do that. There's a wicker man over here. I wonder what he's got in him. If he has a skeleton spawner. Hey, there goes the frame rate. Can I have it back, please? Please? I want to be able to move in a way that isn't a slideshow. Uh, there we go. Where? And then it spikes all the way up to 120, and then it goes, hey, wait a minute, you're recording, I'm not supposed to be this high. And then it goes, Bleh! and falls back down. But if this has a skeleton spawner, that would just be awesome. We can't move it yet, 
but uh, it's zombie. You can see it spawned in just as when it loaded, it spawned in, and these flowers show up as part of the template around it. But since there's no grass here, they immediately pop loose as soon as the game realizes there's no grass. Uh, let's put some torches here so we can kind of. Alright, well that was kind of a bust. A zombie spawner is good to know where it's at, but zombies kind of, they're a dime a dozen at night. They're all over the place. But let me get back to base and we'll take a look at the uh, the plant and any more quests we can do. Okay, so I didn't find anything else interesting on the way back. Uh, no, shift key. There we go. But, did come back to something cool. Check it out. We now have an essence dust. Watch that dumb thing want four. I bet that's what it's going to want. This if we go up here. You're going to want... No, give me two. Wait, I'm carrying one. Oh, it gives us an ender pearl. Ooh, better. 42, 28. Okay, I'm going to stare at these and will them to grow for a little bit. Okay, my mental powers are failing me. This thing has gone up none. This thing has gone up from 28 to 71. Math fails, so I don't know how much that is. But it's gone up really bit, oh, quite a bit. So unless it pops right in front of us, which I don't think it's going to. Stupid plant. Um, we're going to take a look at this. Barrels, which are awesome. And drawers, which are awesome as well. So to make these things, because storage is good, and I'm getting sick of having all this in one box. To do this, though, we're going to need some logs. We'll take some. Let's take that. We'll take two of these. We'll take, no, this one. Let's just do 16. All right, so let me get yourself, I haven't even looked at the recipe, so hopefully it hasn't changed. Let's see. Barrels? Perfect. Give me a barrels. Give me barrels. Perfect. We get a hammer and stickers. Yay. Stickers, not all that helpful to us right now. The barrels and the... Wait a minute. Better. Can't have that. <gasps> See, I told it it was dumb. I was done with it, and I walked away. And look at that. It got. It felt sad and completed. So that gets us that. Now we want a drawer. Two boxes and a bunch of planks. Okay. So now the trick is, uh, don't want to do that, so I don't jump backwards. Let's try it with this stuff. And I keep forgetting I can access it from right there. So if we do two chests. This should give us the over-under. Oh, perfect. we got to use for all this junk. So that gives us these, which are awesome. I... Mm -mm. Good enough. Nope. Need to make a place for store. I don't want to get too comfy down here because I really... I don't want to stay down here. And I know if I really start getting into it down here, I'm just going to be like, eh, this is home. So... So, put all these in here, and then you can see a shift right click with an empty hand, lock and unlock. So if it's locked, it'll always, stupid willow, it'll always be cobblestone even if it empties out. I mean, jeez, does that take up some space. So this one will apparently hold 4,096 cobblestone, has no upgrades, currently harvestable. Seriously? With a... Copper level axe. <laughs> Alright, those barrels are going to be there for a while. Okay, yeah. Okay, sure. Alright, so we get, oh, we get the two by twos. And then in case you haven't used these before, um, you can get a one, which is just a, a single drawer, the two by two, or one, one by one, which is like the over one by two, whatever, the over under, basically two drawers. And the 2x2, two two, which is 4 drawers. Every time you go up a level in drawers, each drawer holds a little less, but you can stuff more into space. So, like, for the beginning, where we don't have a whole bunch of these flowers, we could use the 2x2 uh, the two two here to hold them, which I may end up doing. I really want to get this, but we cannot get this until we have iron. So we can't move that. And then if we had diamonds, we could bring spawners over here. If I'd open that, I mean this. Uh, one quest. That's what we want. We want this quest. Claim, get the ender pearl and four more seeds, which honestly we really don't need because the seeds we have are going to be better. The nature seeds. 
Okay, essence crates. Oh, okay, they're crossbreed between sugar cane and essence. All right, that makes sense. I thought maybe we were going to have to do one of the uh, runic altar to get that, but it's been a while. So let's sleep. Let's get the runic altar made, get that placed up top, just so we've got it and it's in place, and then we will uh, get the crossbreeding at least going for these. And then uh, I think that may be where we call it. Okay, so we'll take our one ender pearl. We have enough mana in here to drop it in and give ourselves a mana pearl from an ender pearl. And now we need five living rock. Allows us to do this, which gets us our runic altar, which we will for the time being just put right there. Wait. Okay, just a pickaxe. It's like, oh, that would have sucked. Requires cobalt level mining. Huh. That would have been horrible. Um, put the boxes away. We're going to hold on to the essence because we are going to need a bunch of that. Um, I'm betting... Okay, now tilled garden soil works. Some of these recipes require tilled garden soil and some of them require not tilled garden soil. It can be a little confusing at first. If you're not look, if you don't look at it just right, you won't notice that it's untilled, and you'll be kind of driving yourself insane trying to figure out why it's not working. And then we'll do we'll do the normal pattern here. There's the the two by two pattern. We'll put the seeds we want to crossbreed together in on diagonal, and then like like that. Grab some of our well meal just to hurry that one along. Get some. We'll get some more sugarcane seeds out of it, which is kind of a nice perk. Because we've only got a few of them, we'll store these up here for the time being, so we don't worry about losing them. We're running out of sand. Now, sand, if I remember, remember right, I thought, yeah, you can basically rehydrate the cracked sand, but it takes a, it's a lot of water to do it, so it's kind of a pain. So this needs to crossbreed, so that we can get. Oh, you can get brown mushroom spores. Cool. Uh, that goes there. So this unlocks something else. That means... Okay, we got this one done. Gives us two more mana pearls. That's for our runic altar. Gives us access to this, which is 10 light gray and 12 clay. Nope. Wrong box we doing for daylight. I have to be careful when I walk outside that I don't right click this thing because it uh, jumps you backwards. Get your attention, that's for sure. Let's just... I was going to say, I thought I brought more than that. I think it's like four flowers per click or something like that. Alright, now this would be a good use for that horn, but because we're directly over the farming area... I don't want to pop anything loose that we're trying to crossbreed because you, they have to be fully grown to, in order for the crossbreed to function. So it's a pain having to wait for them or use our bone meal on them. And yes, I know we said we're probably going to call it, but I want to get this going. Because, you know, something shiny and shiny things deserve love too. Let's see. Light gray? Light gray? Four. Four. Four is not enough. Small light grays. I mean, on the plus side, you need these flowers, so it's not like it's the end of the world that you're getting some of them here. Light gray. We'll put those there so we can see it. It really, the game does not like having this many entities floating on the ground at once. Eight. We had what, like two down there. So this will hopefully get us the last ones we need. I'd rather not use the ones that are downstairs if we don't have to, just so we have a couple. Well, it's um, 11. There we go. That should be enough, and I want to say we have enough clay still. I don't think I used it all up. I was moving the, um, in other words, I started moving the lava that was underneath this thing, and when I moved the first one and dumped it back out in this little room I dug right here, I remember that it destroys the clay bucket when you do that. So, no longer worth it. 
So I just started filling it in and get rid of that and hopefully get that thing up and running eventually. I'll put you here. Okay, we. No. Okay. So we've got. Manual. Select task. Huh. Manual submit? Okay, good. Oh, and it just gives it to us. Cool. Let's put these away. The Clayconia, when you put it near a mana pool, will convert sand directly into uh, clay. It, it definitely is not what I would call something you want to uh, do a lot, because it, at least at this stage of the game, it will definitely eat up mana. But really useful. Plus, I mean, you get it one to one. But, you know, since all we have right now are clay buckets, that's pretty valuable, which is kind of nice. Um, where were we at? Embraces. Okay, we did some of these. Enables. We did that one, but now we need an oyster. Teaches. Books. I read enough books. Okay, these two are done. Wait. Unlocks eight quests elsewhere. What did it unlock? Whoa. Well, these are definitely new. Which came first? Egg. Hmm. Egg. I could have done that right out of the quest book, yes. Um, got mandrake, yep. Got seeds, yep. Got one pasture seed. Do not have runes of mana or earth. You definitely cannot make this one because it requires iron. Again, iron. How do we make you? Gunpowder. Yeah, that's that's not expensive at all. Coal, which we don't have much. Is okay, yeah, so we're definitely not doing that anytime soon. It's going to take us a little bit to get into that. Is that... Okay, that's as far down as we can go right now. Well, we're moving along. Cool. Alright, so I'm going to let this thing propagate and hopefully get these up to 10, 10, 10s. And since we're doing this, we might as well just use a barrel. Since these are going to be here for a while, apparently. But we're going to call that for now, and we're actually going to need four of these because there's that many flowers. We're going to say thank you for watching. If you liked the episode, please hit the like button. If you're new and would like to see more videos, hit that subscribe button. You will see more videos. If you happen to know someone who light, light Mike, might like watching uh, you know, the Essence Seeds and... What else did we do? We made our goggles and all sorts of random stuff that I can't even remember now. Send them a link. Maybe they'll like the video. Maybe they'll subscribe. And then you get to be happy because you shared something with someone that they enjoyed. I get to be happy because channel support is awesome and always welcome. So once again, thank you for watching.